One of the first things that you need to figure out when starting a new workout program is where to start when it comes to the weight that you're gonna be using for each exercise. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that and how to set yourself up for success and consistent progress down the line. First place to start is the warm up. In the warm up, you can use some lighter weights to figure out how it feels and what you think you can handle. So start with something light. You really can't go too light because the more practice you get, the better. So just do your normal exercise how you would if you had 10 pounds in your hand or if you had 100 pounds. You have the same amount of reps, so if you have eight on your program, go for eight. And then when you're done, go up a little bit. Okay, grab a little bit heavier. Do the exact same thing, and if that feels easy, just keep climbing the ladder. Go up until you find that weight that feels a little bit heavy. So what is a little bit heavy? A little bit heavy should not look like this. It shouldn't be so effortless that it really doesn't take a whole lot of strain to do it. But it also shouldn't be so heavy that the bar or the weight is barely moving and it looks like you're about to fail on the next rep. We want that that weight right in the middle, that sweet spot where it's a little hard to get it up, but we never feel like we're close to failure. Okay? You want that weight that you still feel like if you had to, you could probably do two or three more reps with perfect form. The reason we want to stay within two reps shy of failure is because it's going to be that sweet spot where you're recovering enough and at the same time we're pushing hard enough to get the results that you want. Now you might hear this a couple different ways. Some other people might say RPE 8 or two reps in reserve. It all means relatively the same thing. If you were to go to 10 reps, so say this is 9 and this is 10 and you barely get there. There's nothing left, there's no shot you're getting that last rep, that's an RPE 10. Now if you were to stop two reps short of that, so this is seven, this is eight, and you cut it right there before we get to that ninth and 10th rep, that's RPE eight, that's two reps left in reserve. So find that weight and try and keep tabs of yourself during the sets, see if you can handle more or maybe you need to back it down and do a little bit less. So now that you've found the right weight to use, how do we progress week to week? Well, here's a really simplified version on how to do it. You could follow it to a T, you could kind of follow it. Up to you, figure it out and see what works for you. So let's say that the first week you did 15 pounds, you did 20 pounds on the second set, and then you did 25. That 25 was the one that was like, okay, I think I can do two more reps, but you cut it short. That's okay for week one. It's not gonna be too taxing and you're gonna get a feel for what the weight's like. Week two, you take that 25 and you do it twice. And you do one set of 20, 25, 25. Then week three, you try and get it on all three sets. You hit it for all three, and that's a sign that you can go up and wait. So then week four, you go for 30, but that's on the last set. So you go 25, 25, 30. And then once that's done, week five, you keep that rhythm going. You go for 25, and then the next two are gonna be 30 and 30. So you're just doing a little bit more each time. Small little jumps like this, week to week, lead to lasting progress. If we're just going from 15 to 30 for three sets right off the bat, one, week one was not hard enough, you didn't push it hard enough, or that's way too much and we're gonna hit a pretty early ceiling and possibly risk injury. So take it slow. If it's heavy enough, roll with it. And do something like this, okay? You might find that you might be making some really fast progress. So say you do 25 and then you do it on the second set the week two and it feels like nothing. Your body bounced back like, damn, we could do a lot more than this. Okay, so go 20, 25, and then try 30 if it feels super easy. If it doesn't, don't push it, okay? This is a time to learn your body and figure out what works for you. I hope that answered any of the questions you have as far as weight selection and how to progress, but if you have any more questions, feel free to reach out. You can either leave a comment below or email me at coachfits with two Z's, one at gmail.com.